a new 10.6 megawatt solar facility plus 6 megawatt battery integrated with an existing diesel power station at the De Grusa Copper Gold Mine in Western Australia is a first for the mining industry and a first in the rapidly growing renewable energy sector. The project represents the future of the mining industry with more sustainable and lower cost power. Located 900 kilometres northeast of Perth in Western Australia, De Grusa is one of the Asia-Pacific region's premier high-grade copper mines. An outstanding greenfields discovery in 2009, the rapid development of this high-grade deposit in just over three years transformed Sandfire into a leading mid-tier mining company, propelling it to the forefront of copper production in Western Australia. The De Grusa operation produces around 65 to 68,000 tonnes of copper and 35 to 40,000 ounces a year of gold at highly competitive cash operating costs, enabling it to generate strong revenues and cash flows. With current reserves already underpinning a mine life until 2021, Sandfire has a major commitment to exploration in the region to grow its resources. Through focused exploration, the company has recently discovered an additional major deposit located just 10 kilometres east of the existing mine as part of a farm-in joint venture with Talisman Mining. The De Grusa operation is based on a long-term underground mine delivering sulphide ore to a 1.6 million tonne per annum concentrator located on site. The underground mine plan comprises over 38 kilometres of lateral development, allowing for the simultaneous extraction of ore from multiple deposits. Having four underground deposits provides Sandfire with production flexibility, enabling it to maintain consistent ore production of 1.6 million tonnes per annum through the decline. Due to its remoteness, the De Grusa mine has been solely powered by diesel generators located on site. Power will now be provided by a combination of the existing diesel generators and the new solar power station. KPS, a leading diesel and gas power solutions provider, owns and operates the diesel power station, which consists of seven 2 megawatt diesel generators and five 1 megawatt diesel generators. Sandfire provides the power station with approximately 25 million litres of diesel per annum, enabling it to power the entire mining operation. In October 2013, Sandfire Resources was approached by Dewey, a leading international renewable energy construction company, to procure electricity from a 10.6 megawatt solar photovoltaic PV facility, which it proposed to install at the De Grusa mine. After signing a power purchase agreement and securing $20.9 million from the Australia Renewable Energy Agency, ARENA, the project ownership was transferred to French independent power producer Neoen in July 2015 at financial close of the project. Neoen are the project financier responsible for providing equity and securing $15 million funding from the Clean Energy Finance Corporation CEFC. The six-year power purchase agreement signed by Sandfire allows the mine to benefit from the installation of a renewable system without the need to directly invest capital to construct the project. The solar PV system is expected to produce around 21,000 megawatt hours of electricity per annum and reduce diesel consumption at De Grusa by approximately 5 million litres per year, with a forecast reduction in carbon dioxide emissions by an estimated 12,000 tonnes. Dewey, the original proponent of the project, is responsible for the engineering, procurement, construction, operation and maintenance of the solar power facility. OTOC, a Perth-based surveying and remote construction company, undertake on-site construction works in joint venture with Dewey. The site for the solar facility, which is approximately one kilometre from the diesel power station, was selected to ensure that environmental impacts are minimised. Construction of the De Grusa solar power project commenced in August 2015 with the installation of more than 4,700 posts, which had driven 1.5 metres into the ground in order to support the racking system and solar panels. The posts allow the solar PV system to follow the natural contours of the ground, thereby minimising earth moving and ground disturbances. Rails connect the posts together, providing a framework on which some 34,080 solar PV panels are mounted. These rails rotate on a single axis east to west throughout the day in order to track the sun, increasing the electricity generated by some 20%. 
Each row of 80 solar panels is rotated by a motor which is powered by a small solar panel and battery. The solar panels convert sunlight into direct current DC electricity. This electricity is then carried by cables to the solar inverters, which in turn convert the DC electricity into usable alternating current AC electricity. The site consists of five inverter stations, which cumulatively can produce more than 10 megawatts of power, enough to cover most of the mine's daytime power needs. High-powered lithium-ion batteries are also installed, which can provide close to 4 megawatts of DC power for a 30-minute period or up to 6 megawatts for shorter time periods. The battery consists of stacks of smaller batteries housed in two 40-foot shipping containers. During periods when surplus electricity is available, the battery inverter converts AC power from the solar PV system into DC power to charge the battery. During periods when there's a need for additional electricity, the battery produces DC power, which the inverter converts to usable AC power. During a typical 24-hour period, the mine's energy demand is relatively consistently at around 12 megawatts. During the evening, the mine is completely powered by diesel. As the sun rises, more power is produced from the solar panels and the diesel generators are progressively turned off. A control system works to balance the diesel, solar and battery generation to ensure sufficient reserve capacity is always available in the event of clouds blocking the sun. When a cloud event occurs, a portion of the energy demand is taken by the reserve diesel capacity already online, with the battery able to meet the balance of demand until new diesel generators can be started and brought online. Once the cloud passes, the power station reverts back to solar power and turns off the diesel generators which are no longer needed for the time being. As the afternoon approaches and the amount of sunlight reduces, the diesel generators provide a greater proportion of the mine's power needs. During the evening, while the solar power facility itself does not produce any electricity, the battery has the ability to continue providing auxiliary services such as frequency control, power factor correction, as well as a spinning reserve thereby increasing the overall reliability of the diesel power station. The project proponents include Sandfire, the mine owner and energy offtaker, Neoen, the project owner equity provider, Arena, $20.9 million government funding, CEFC, $15 million debt finance, Dewey, project development, engineering, procurement, construction, operation and maintenance, OTOC, on-site construction works, and KPS, diesel power station owner and operator.